Hey, what's up everybody? It's Felix here from MyGunDiary.com and today we're just doing a uh, video about Cosmoline removal on an SKS. Today I've got two Yugo SKSs. Uh, one of them is the typical 5966 U, uh, surplus SKS that you see with the grenade launcher attached. And this other one is a refurbished Yugo SKS which I really like. What they've done is they've replaced a grenade launcher with this pretty cool looking flash suppressor and the wood is in really nice condition. I purchased this 5966 from Classic Firearms and it comes caked pretty heavy in Cosmoline which is great because that's how they preserve the good condition of the wood and the, uh, the metal parts but it's going to take a good cleaning. This other 5966 uh, is not caked in Cosmoline. It's pretty clean and ready to shoot. It does have a, a little bit of a oil residue on it, so I'm just going to give it a quick wipe down. We're going to do the full Cosmoline removal on the Yugo 5966 with the grenade launcher. For a complete Cosmoline removal, you will have to disassemble the rifle completely. Um, break it down pretty much as far as you can break it down, but we're gonna we're gonna skip ahead because this video is not a disassembly video. This is a Cosmoline removal video, so we're gonna skip ahead with the rifle already disassembled. Okay, some of the things you'll need for a complete Cosmoline removal is uh, some mineral spirits, which I have here, and then a spray bottle, which I poured the mineral spirits into, some shop rags that we're gonna use to wipe the Cosmoline off and just some latex gloves so that when working because the Yugo 5966 has a lot of Cosmoline on it so it just keeps your hands from getting all that stuff caked on. As you see I just have a plastic drop rag here on the garage floor. I have a heat gun which we're going to use to assist in the Cosmoline removal and then I have just an empty plastic bin which is going to catch all the Cosmoline as it is um, as it drips off and is cleaned off. I like to start with the receiver when I'm removing Cosmoline from my military surplus rifles. The heat gun will turn the Cosmoline from a hard sticky substance to an oily liquid. Some of it will melt and drip right off the surface, but most of the time you'll have to wipe it off with a shop rag. Once the Cosmoline has turned to oil, I simply spray down the surface with mineral spirits and give it a good wipe. It's been my experience that the combination of the heat gun and mineral spirits makes for a time-saving, easier job of removing the Cosmoline. I had some trouble trying to pull the receiver out of the stock, so I just left it in rather than try to force it out. It really made no difference as far as removing the Cosmoline from this rifle. Once you apply heat to any of the surfaces, it's just a matter of spraying mineral spirits and wiping it off. I recommend products like Hops, Remington Gun Oil, and Gun Scrubber to clean out hard to reach areas like the gas tubes. Cosmoline will be found in every nook and cranny, so get some Q-tips, your cleaning rod, and some cleaning patches to get the Cosmoline out of all the areas that you simply can't wipe down. On this particular rifle, the recoil spring was caked in the heaviest amount of Cosmoline. But this is where you'll really see the benefit of using a heat gun. As you can see, the Cosmoline literally melts right off and you can also plainly see why it's a good idea to have a drop cloth on the floor so you can avoid getting oil stains on whatever floor surface you're working on. A warning, just be careful if you decide to use the heat gun on smaller parts of the rifle. The heat gun gets extremely hot and it's easy to get burned. I just use my shop rag and mineral spirits for the really small parts. It's not a big deal. Don't forget to clean the inside of the bolt carrier. There's going to be a lot of gunk in it. You'll want to get in there with a cleaning cloth and cleaning rod. When you're satisfied with your Cosmoline removal, it's time to reassemble your rifle and clean up your mess. After you've removed all the Cosmoline from all the various parts of your SKS, you just reassemble it 
And once again, this is not a disassembly and reassembly video. It's a Cosmoly removal video. So I skipped ahead and I've already put my SKS back together. Um, when you take it out to the range and, and put you know some rounds through it, the barrel will heat up and you'll notice a little um, Cosmoline still coming off of it. It's almost impossible to get rid of all of it. This rifle is absolutely beautiful. I've got a total of four SKSs in my collection and when I bought this 5966 I had a thought about getting uh, one of the Timbersmith stocks for it and kind of like tricking it out with the scope and, and whatnot. But the wood is just so beautiful and I just love the classic look of the SKS so I'm going to leave it alone. This, this stock is in really good condition and I just like to keep it historically accurate. I'm, I know that might be kind of funny to some people. But uh, just a gorgeous rifle. These SKSs are a joy to shoot. And I hope this video helps some of you out in terms of maybe another method for getting rid of that Cosmoline. Now, if you've got a method that you think is better, be sure to leave a comment. And while you're at it, uh, like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for checking out MyGunDiary.com. And if you like uh, this t-shirt, I sell a bunch of different t-shirts. Just go to MyGunDiary.com and look for the store and uh, pick up a t-shirt while you're at it. So they're all original designs and original slogans and whatnot. So thanks for supporting the channel. Thanks for watching. Shoot them straight. We'll see you next time on MyGunDiary.com.